there's currently no recovery of the bodies. They were identified within the rubble or not identified, but located. Um, the structural security of the building and the safety and welfare of the rescue team has to be taken into account. And um, due to the complexity of getting to those individuals, um, that will still be part of what they will be determining today. Um, the, not necessarily just the rain, but the rain provided some extra weight on the roofing system and throughout the night, um, you know, just with the shifting temperatures and stuff, we don't have all the details yet because we were just briefed this morning that they did suspend the recovery efforts and for a little while earlier, later, or just recently, and um, to reevaluate that. The building was structurally um, still unstable yesterday. And, um, but when you're looking in a recovery mode to start with, when you're searched for rescue and now you're in recovery, you have to sort of take a step back and make sure that you're looking after your own employees first. At what time did the uh, search and rescue get uh, postponed? We don't know night? that yet. We were just briefed on that okay. right before this press conference. So they could have searched the threat? Um, no, pneumonia still is not a threat now. It was as yesterday, it, it was still recovery and contained as of 11 o'clock last night when we had our last conference. Any more information on the two victims? No, there's not a positive way. They don't want to misidentify anybody and until they can actually recover them. Um, you know, all we had was that they were three unaccounted. We have now two that are accounted, so there's still one unaccounted and there's not really a way to positively identify yet until you can recover the victim.